Can you smell the copper? Can you smell it? <laughs> smell the copper. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the field today. It is Dig Day Tuesday. My lovely assistant slash girlfriend slash lady is out there. Say hi, Joss. Hi, Joss. <laughs> Smart Alec. All right, so um, we're back in a field that we hit uh, a couple weeks ago. I didn't film a whole lot here. Um, it was in Joss's video. Uh, I pulled an 1816 large scent out of here and some other various odds and ends, cool stuff. Um, we came back and I decided to bring the Equinox over here just to see if it would pull anything else out. And first target that I dug is pretty cool. It's old and I like it. And it is a 1910 Cumberland County, Pennsylvania dog license. So that's awesome. It's not my oldest. My oldest is 1899 from Maryland but I will gladly take this. And we just got here, and like I said, this is the first target I've dug. Um, it was coming in at a solid 17 on the VDI on the Equinox 800. And uh, we're gonna keep going and see if we can't come across any more. So we've got this whole little splotch of home site right here, because that's what was here. And we're gonna work it, and we're gonna, we're gonna see what, uh, what we can come up with. So I'll catch you on the next one. See you in a bit. Okay, now the last time we were here, I went up in this little area where I'm at right now and I pulled a couple wheat pennies out. Um, I thought I kind of gridded this little area off pretty good uh, with the E-Track. Now we're back over with the Equinox and I get a hit and it's a coin and it's an old coin. So let's take a quick peek at it. Um, I'm going to have to clean this up pretty good when I get back to the house, but it is an 1866 Indian head scent and you can see the reverse but I think once I toothpick this all the crud will come off and it'll have that really nice green color to it and we'll see if the uh, headband has any detail the feathers have any detail um, I don't think it's gonna have a whole lot but hey never know but I think it's gonna have that real nice green patina so I'm happy with that it's an old coin so another one on the board we're gonna keep giving it a shot and see what else we can come up with and um, get, back at you, get back at you if we can find anything else. We do have another spot we want to go check out today or try to get permission for. So we may boogie out of here at some point and later in this video you may see us off somewhere else. So I'm sweating like I just got dumped into the burning flames of hell and I'm going to complain until it gets cold. And I'm going to complain about it being cold just like everybody else. How about you? You're dying? Well, while you're dying, I'm pulling war nickels out. Let's get the P mint mark above the dome, which indicates 1942 to 1945, 35% silver. Uh, I don't know if I doink the edge or if it's just crust on there. Everything that comes out of here is pretty crusty, so I'll clean it up when I get back home, but it's definitely a war nickel. Definitely has that mint mark above the dome. It's a P. So, chunk of silver. It's a little chunk of silver, but it's silver. All right, Joss had to run home and take care of the kids and do a couple things. Uh, gave our friend John a call when he came out. John, what did you get? It's a little flatty. Ooh. With the shank. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. That's a nice early one. Yeah. I like that. First uh, first hole of the day. That's awesome. My <laughs> first hole here was a 1910 Cumberland County dog tax tag. Uh, I love dog tax. So I, I, there's, there's, there's more here. So. Oh, yeah, definitely. And off we go. <laughs> to the wonderful Wizard of Oz. It's got to be good when John starts yelling. Big, round, and pretty. So let's go take a look. What are you running out here, John? Well, I was hitting a 50 signal and I 
Went down a couple pro. inches. Stock coil. Stock coil. <laughs> Get that sucker out of there. Let's oh, oh baby. <sighs> Looks like a largey. Yeah, it's a largey. It's facing me right now. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that's... There she is. Yep. Let's look at a date here. No problem on a date, probably. 1818? Is that what I saw? 18. It's either 18 or 19. It's, I think it's 19. 18, 19? 18, 19. Woo! Nice! Come on, camera. Focus. Thanks for the invite, man. You are welcome. It's out here. Wow. There we go. 1819. Beautiful. I think the one I dug was 16. So they're here. Yes, sir. Are you happy? Woohoo! Alright, let's go get some more. Yeah. Nice, man. See you guys on the next one. Oh yeah, now it's now that it's drying up, you can just Liberty's fool. Can you smell the copper? Can you smell it? <laughs> smell the copper. All right, John came over. He says, "Ooh, look, I got a drawer pull. This is really cool. I like that. Yeah, it's got a nice patina, doesn't nice it? Nice bronze. I really like that. Sunny, gorgeous day out. Screamer, man. That was a screamer. Yes. Yes. Meanwhile, I'm over here. I'm digging." Wheaties. It's all right. It's an old coin. It's not a large scent, but hey, it's an old coin. I'll clean it up when I get home and figure out a date. So that's a good sign. Stuff's still here. This is awesome. See you in a bit. He says surface fine, and then he says beep, then fine. Okay. What do we got? Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, you got to be snotting me. <laughs> I see that. Where's that, that leaf getting in the way? There we go. Right what do you here. think it is? Weedy or Indian? I don't know. Ooh, it looks a little like it might be on the fat side, maybe. Okay. It's in Let's a clump. See. It sure is. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's in a clump. Check this out. Somebody, was Somebody dug a hole. Digging right here. Yep. It was either me or Joss. We were digging. Yep, you threw your target out of the hole. Missed it. Darn it. Oh, it's a oh, button! It's a button. Yeah. Oh, that's even better than a weedy. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like it. Yes, yes, yes. You're never gonna invite me out to your side. No, you you know you can come with me anytime you want, John. All right, let me oh, get back awesome, over here. Man. Let me see if uh, let me see if I can get on the board some more too. So we'll see you in a bit. Sweating like a bugger. It's hot, but it's great. It's awesome. John's been kicking butt, and I'm back on the board with something old Ooh. and cool. <sighs> Nice flat button. This place is awesome, man. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, you don't know. I mean, there was there was a chunk of iron in the ground. I mean, honestly, like, this piece of wood, there's like a nail or something in it that's setting my pinpointer off. So this was like messing with the sound, whatever's in this chunk of, of wood. And, uh, but, yeah, you got to just be persistent. If you hear a good tone and it's solid and repeatable, just go after it. It could be something cool. So, never know. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Can you dig it, John? I'm digging it. Though. All right, let's go dig it. Dig it, 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 dig it. All right, the buttons are still coming out. This one's a really small cuff button. It's kind of thick though. It was reading a solid 19 on the VDI which I'm really shocked at, but it's super thick for a cuff button. So, I don't know. All right, on to the next. Hope we get some coins. I like buttons, but I want to find some more coins today. Is it being greedy? I don't want to be greedy. Okay, I'll stick with the buttons. Let's go dig some more buttons. Maybe there's a coin and buttons. All right, see you on the next one. I don't know what it is, but it's fancy and old. I don't know if you know what that came off of. Leave it in the comments below. It's not that big. It's like bronze. I almost wonder, you know what? That's what it is. It's part of a shoe buckle. Ho ho ho! Shoe buckle frame part. Yes! Colonial all day long. Gotta love it. 
I hadn't even flipped it over. I just looked at the front and saw it was all fancy and nice. Yes! Score. John says he's got something. No clue. Oh, I know what that is. What is that? That is a uh, saddle strap guide. It's colonial. It's got two holes. It's going to have one on either end. Ah, oh, there you go. It's going to have fancy on the front, probably. Possibly. Oh, Somewhat. look at you. were yep. right. You were right. Look yep. at there. There's the fancy. Oh, a little silver fancy, too. We were, we were digging these um, on a colonial site. Yeah, that's early. That's good. That's good. Saddle that. strap guide. Nice. Awesome. Sweet. Stuff's still here. <laughs> Let's get it. Uh -oh. All right. I'm already getting the phone calls. You need something? Pick something up for dinner? No, because I'm not leaving for another like half hour and I want to dig. <laughs> There's plenty of stuff in the freezer. I'm digging today. Darn it. Um, man, it's like 6.45 at night. The sun's still high up in the sky. I'm going to give it a little while. Especially after this. This is awesome. Let's take a look. Oh, this looks like a copper that somebody scalloped the edges and either made a pie crimping tool or was just carving or was attempting to make a rowel for a spur. I don't know. I'm going to have to clean this bugger up. See, there's something on it. Oh, it's a large scent for sure. Now, what kind of large scent? Oop, here we go. Here we go with the pants rub. Oh, it's a drape bust. Drape bust large scent. Oh, heck yeah. There she is. And it's like carved. Oh, it's so awesome. I love it. All right, we're gonna keep going for a little while. Hopefully we get something else. And I'll show you all the goodies in the wrap up later on. All right, see you in a bit. And the targets are still popping. We got a nice flat button in the hole. You can see there on the left. Where we're stuck in the dirt. Shank's gone, that's all right. I'll take it. Still good find, so. All right, on to the next one. Boom, love it. Well, hello, it is the end of the video and it is time for the wrap up to show you guys what I got. I wanna, one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over a couple things from my last video, um, a couple little just minor updates, and uh, show you a couple cool things on those items, and then we'll go into the wrap up from this hunt, this video. Um, if you watched last week's video, I was in West Virginia with Rob and I had found three pieces of crotal bill in one area. And I was actually able to put them back together, which is kind of cool. Um, I mean, yeah, it's super glue. It leaves a white something on there. I mean, it's just what it is. What it is. It's it's a broken crotal bell, but it looks so much better with the three pieces all glued back together. Um, I mean, obviously, if I had the whole thing, I probably would have taken a little more care and what kind of adhesive I used, but it's a number eight it's three pieces it's not whole but those three pieces will now never get separated so I'm happy with that one of the other items one of the other items was this great seal okay so this is a pin um, it didn't clean up the greatest as, as nice as I thought uh, you know as much as I hoped it would but this is actually from a World War I officer's collar insignia. Um, these, from what I'm being told from the research that was done by a friend of mine named Frankie, go check him out on Warthog MD on YouTube. Um, Frankie's part of the Whitesfield team, super, super knowledgeable when it comes to military stuff. He is in the Air Force and I'd like to thank him for his service while I'm on here too. So go check him out, Warthog MD. Um, World War One officers usually command these were reserved usually for commanding officers from what I'm being told and this would have been on the officers collar on his right side so pretty cool I really like that the little tag I think 
being in West Virginia, I think it's a coal miner's tag. I think it's, uh, it indicates a coal miner's number. And when they would go in, they'd take their tag, and when they come out of the mine, they'd hang their tag up so they knew that they were out of the mine. Um, but, yeah, that was from last week, too. That was pretty cool. So, now let's get on to this week's stuff. This week's stuff is cool. Um, we got some really neat finds this week. We did manage to pull an iron spoon handle, which indicates a little bit of age. You usually don't see these except on older sites. Um, 1910 dog license Cumberland County PA that was the first target I dug that was awesome I love these old dog licenses uh, Joss got a 1917 off of this site the last time we were there together a couple flat buttons there's two there there's one there so three flat buttons for me off the site which is great got a 43p silver war nickel now these were created from 42 to 45 the only thing that makes them different from a, a another nickel just by look is the mint mark above the dome of monticello there is a p mint mark it is the first time the p mint mark was used on a coin to designate philadelphia in 1942 they were striking regular nickels well, they needed a way to tell the difference between the regular nickels and the 35% silver war nickels. And the reason they went to that is they needed the, sil the nickel for the war effort, so they needed to replace it with something, so they replaced it with silver. So these will come out of the ground looking like lead. Um, they don't come out the greatest usually, but they do come out and they will shine again because they have silver in them. Regular nickels will not come out so nice. It's just fact. If you post a shiny, brand new looking nickel, I'm calling you out. You didn't dig it. Unless it's a war nickel, then it's possible. But, regular nickels don't look this good. And this one doesn't even look that good. But, it is what it is. We got a 35 Weedy. We got, and, and I wasn't sure about this when I first dug it. I just saw all the fancy and I was so focused on the fancy. I forgot to flip it over and see the attachment where this was part of a colonial shoe buckle frame this was a real fancy one so when I go back over there I'm going to be looking for more bits and pieces of this guy and maybe I can find the whole thing who knows that'd be really cool so looking forward to that we've got a semi key 1866 Indian head scent actually cleaned up all right I was I was pretty pleased with that if I could get my camera to focus, it would be nice. I just love that green patina though. Alright, so moving on to the last find of the day. I wish I could get this to focus a little better. Sorry guys. But it is a nice, nice looking Indian. So, on to the next one, and last but not least, we have an 1800 Drape Bust Large Scent, and there you can see the bust, and I can see the last two zeros underneath the bust, um, flip it over, and you can see the wording, one cent. They carved the edge of this, they may have been making a spur rowel, they could have been making a whizzer, they could have been making a replacement part for their pie crust cutter who knows um, but they may not have finished it because it doesn't have any holes in it so but uh, really cool really unique it's a one-of-a-kind piece there are no others that look exactly like it except for the coin but I love it I'm super happy this totally made my day yesterday so best find of the day for me so that's it so we got some cool stuff out of this site it was enjoyable it was a good day I had a great time. It was nice to get out with John for a little bit in the afternoon. It was nice to get out with Joss during the day for a little bit. Um, I may swing back over there this afternoon for a little bit. I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens. Um, so, we're going to have some fun. But until next time, just get out. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. It's a hobby. Have fun. Don't worry about anything else. Find some cool stuff. Just get out and find your treasure. And I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later, guys. Bye! Sit, Drew, you sit! <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you.